G'day, this is Scotty Tucker. So the dam behind me is a uh, bit of a textbook example of uh, an irrigation dam. This is watering quite a large, uh, large area of vineyards on a, uh, a property here in rural Victoria. And one of the challenges that the client's having with uh, maintaining this dam and the water quality is an excessive amount of aquatic weed coming up from the bottom, which is causing fouling in his, uh, in his suction line, his foot valve. So what we're doing now is uh, in introducing an aeration system, a subsurface aeration system. And the reason why we're doing that is to let mother nature uh, bacteria clean up the sludge and the muck on the bottom that's essentially feeding the, uh, the weed. So this one, we probably will end up doing a combination of both subsurface aeration and surface aeration, just mainly due to the depth. Surface aerators sort of, you know, you don't, you're not gonna to wanna to use one at about four or five meters deep. And this thing, depending on the time of year, can go up to about sort of six or seven meters deep, something like that. So what we're gonna do is introduce a subsurface system to lift all the water from the bottom up to the top where it can get a gas exchange with the, the atmosphere. So the, the nasty gases can come out, the good gases can come in. And most importantly, we get oxygen right down the bottom which is where this uh, this good bacteria uh, you need it to live and thrive and do well so we're installing today a, a vertex aeration system it's a uh, two uh, four disc aeration uh, pads that will sit on the bottom and we're running this with a, a compressor that's you know, inside a cabinet and also in a, in a shed right next to me. Another key advantage with the, the subsurface is the low power consumption. This is only a half horsepower compressor so very very low power consumption for, for aerating a water body of this size. We're also using a, a biological product that will help clean up the rotting organic mess because if you don't do that and you don't stimulate the bacteria to clean up that rotting organic mess it just becomes the uh, next generation food for the the algae or the weed that will otherwise come behind it so we make sure that we clean up the the rotting mess that's left behind and that's where sort of a lot of the chemical supply companies won't tell you to do that because they just want you using more and more chemical but uh, we sort of tend to do a, a more holistic approach <laughs> 